Hey, 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 we're back again. I'm going to show you what I got on our little shopping spree yesterday. And I'm wearing most of it today, and I am liking it. So I think we have some winners today. So if you haven't seen my little come shopping with me for makeup uh, video, I'll link that somewhere up here. Um, go see that. And um, I'll take you with me shopping and out to lunch and having a good old time. So let's get into what's in that bag. Yay! Uh, I went to two places with y'all. Uh, first one was Target. And I think I told you, if I look over here, I've got my camera all turned around. Sorry. Um, told you about the deal they have it going at Target. At least in my area, check yours. Um, if you buy $20 worth of beauty products, you um, text beauty to this to Target. And they have the number there. You get a $5 gift card on the spot. So I spent way more than that. So I got two gift cards. Um, anyway, I wanted to get a couple things. Uh, the serum, um, I got kind of cornered by the Boots lady. So I ended up with the Boots serum. Uh, but I have heard, you know, excellent things about this brand. I've used it in the past. This is the Protect, or, you know, Protect and Perfect Intense Advance. You can see that. There we go. And, uh, it's hyaluronic, hypoallergenic. It's got, let's see. The thing that, that she bragged about this one is it not only has um, Metrexel 3000, which is great for building collagen, uh, it has a um, mixed generation peptide, and let's see what it is. It's a rice thing. I'm trying to remember what it is. Well, there is retinol palmitate in here. It's about the middle of the ingredient list. And... Um, Trying to find where it was. Somewhere up there, there was a rice peptide or something that only they have. It's exclusive to Boots or whatever. But I'm going to try it. It feels really good going in. It almost feels like a silicone. I, I don't see silicone in here. Uh, but some of the names I'm not familiar with, but I don't see that. It just soaked right in and it's velvety smooth when you're done. So that's. That was the big purchase because I really, really needed a serum. So that's that. And I needed a new uh, lightweight day moisturizer with SPF that won't clog the pores and all that. So I got the knockoff brand of CeraVe at Target. And uh, it's a morning facial moisturizing lotion with sunscreen compared to CeraVe AM. Helps restore and maintain skin's natural protective barrier, non-irritating, won't clog pores. With ceramides, uh, uh, niacinamide, I don't know how to say that, and hyaluronic acid, sorry, <laughs> SPF 30. You definitely, it's a white, creamy, and it goes on. You smell the zinc oxide in it, but um, it does soak in pretty well to the skin, and it doesn't feel greasy, uh, but you do smell the zinc oxide in there. At least you know you're getting sun protection. All right, I had a couple more things at, oh, here we go. I did go ahead and purchase the Illuminating Face Primer from e.l.f. Um, this is very golden going on. Um, I think they might have other illuminating baby colors. but um, So you have to tell me what you think. Uh, it's I did put um, Bye Bye Pores uh, powder down my T-zone because I don't want that part oily or shiny or anything. But... I think there's a nice glow to the skin. I did not add highlighter at all. So I think there's a nice glow to the skin. This plus the uh, makeup that I got. So um, I kind of like it. I, I did put it all over there just because it's a primer and I was hoping to fill up pores and wrinkles and things like that. I think it's a pretty good primer. Uh, I believe it was, was it 4 or $6. I'll have to look at my receipt to tell you. Yeah, of course, I don't have that bag with me. Nah. Four or six. I mean, it's not a lot. Um, but, I, you know, everybody's talking about dewy skin, especially when you're mature. And as long as it doesn't look greasy, I, I kind of like the skin texture. It's a beautiful finish. And so that was for Target. Now we're going to go to Walgreens. Walg oh, no, I'm sorry. There's one other thing. I needed a blending brush. And the only thing I found was this eye crease brush. It was a dollar itself. It is way too compact. I used it today. It's great for, I did it like a soft cut crease, and I'm practicing, so it's probably not very good. But um, 
you know, one looks a little higher than the other. Um, I think I probably forgot to add uh, another eye product on this side because I was in a hurry to come share all this stuff with you. It, this would be good. This is very dense, though. This is good if you are doing kind of a cut crease, but it's not what I wanted. I wanted a really light, fluffy, like a Sigma, I don't know the names, a, a blending brush. And um, so that's not it, but I can use it for something else, and it's only a dollar. Okay, now onwards to Walgreens. The thing right now that I am excited about... Oh, where did it go? Okay. Um... Oh, was that it? No, I had one more item. I'm sorry, I have one more item, and I'm wearing it today, and it is the NYX um, Pomade Tame and Frame Brow Pomade, and I think this one's in chocolate. And I put it in with a... I really like it. I think it was a very good match. And... Um, oops, sorry. Huh. It's a really good match. Um, it's a little lighter than the the MAC pencil that I was using, but I used the two of them in con conjunction and with a angled brow brush, and it went on very nicely, and I'm going to have fun with this. Um, I don't thicken my eyebrows up. I think I, I told you why I don't do that. It doesn't work on my eyes, but this is something really fun, and the fact that it's waterproof, smudge proof, all that kind of stuff, it sits, it stays, so I don't have to do two things, like the brow pencil, if I don't want to, and my brow gel to hold it in place. Just this would suffice. So I'll play with that. Okay, now, finally, <laughs> I have so many things. Uh, do you think, I don't have any on right now, but I want to show you. I got the gel polish. Uh, Wet n Wild has gel polish now, guys, in case you didn't know that. It's, and it's a one-step gel polish that doesn't require a light. And I think they were four or five dollars. And if you know gel polishes, they're usually nine or ten dollars, you know, maybe eight. And I got this beautiful Coral Support. Coral Support. Isn't that cute? That's the name of that. And I know my coloring, and so I know that that's going to be beautiful. Uh, right now I'm just doing the Frenchies. And then I got this beautiful baby pink one, and it's just, what's it even called? Pinky something. I, it's so light I can't even read it. But um, beautiful baby pink. So much light. There we go. That'll be really nice, too, on a kind of a, an everyday thing. But I wanted to have a little fun with polish now that I've got, yeah, I went back and got acrylic nails because I've tried and tried and tried to get my nails to grow and they just break, 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 no matter what I do. So I want nice nails. I have them fairly short, though, because I have to type and take care of kitties and kids, kiddos, and cats. <laughs> um, I did get this. Oh, this was also at Target. I did pick up those lashes. I'm not wearing them today. I'm going to save them. They were two dollars, and they're really nice, natural looking. It says natural lash kit, and it comes with the glue. But um, I think that might be nice. And I like the ones that are not winged, because like my, my eyes already wing, and they're so small that I want them to kind of open up in the middle. So if I get something that's kind of like some long ones in the middle, and I can trim it up um, on the sides, that'll make my eyes pop. I keep looking over here because the circles over there. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right. Um, the last thing, and I'm wearing this. It may or may not be my color, but it's, you know, I'm trying to go outside of my neutrals box. And, um, oh, and as far as the cheeks and everything, I'm doing my normal contour. Uh, I didn't do much on the cheeks. I used It Cosmetics cream blush that's very, very pink cream blush, which I don't normally do. But I thought it went well with this, which is, again, Wet n Wild, uh, Mega Slicks, um, and this is the Moisturizing Lip Balm Balm Stain. And uh, I did get it in the one that I mentioned before, which is 126 Rico Mauve. And I didn't line my lips, but this is pigmented enough to line and fill in. I wanted to show you that. Look at that. Lined, and it fills in. And it's very creamy, not drying, and supposedly, you know, since it's a balm stain, it should last a little while. So that is it, guys. I just wanted to get on here and show you all the goodies that I got when you went shopping with me yesterday. And uh, I think the hands-down winner of the deal was the Lumi. Where is it? Most of my cat's talking to me. 
Oh, here it is. Yeah, it was got to be the True Match, L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Um, I didn't think I would want a luminating foundation. I really didn't think so. But I think it's, I had to build it up a little bit on the cheeks because of my rosacea. But uh, it looks to me like it's the right color. Now, you know, I have a lot tanner on my neck. So, but I think it's the right color. And, and it was, the color we ended up getting, I think, is C5 Cool, which I normally don't go with the cool beige. But this one is. And it is um, Classico beige. Classic beige. It's classic. <laughs> Classico. My C's and my O's, you know, blending together. So uh, this was like 14 bucks or something at Walgreens. And I'm liking it. I think it, it's got a nice... That and the e.l.f. primer gives you a nice dewy complexion. doesn't look overly, you know, glittery or anything like that. So, pretty nice. And, um, yeah, I'm liking it. So, anyway, that's it, guys. I just wanted to share with you what I got. And I will see you all next time. Love, hugs, peace. Please subscribe and follow me. And um, we're going to do maybe some more... Um, ride-alongs and car vlogs occasionally if you guys like it. Let me know if you like that kind of thing, uh, what, what you'd like to see, maybe try-ons and things like that. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.